This video is made for adult collectors. Enjoy. Dark of the Moon saw six different Prime molds used from the Legends named Cyberverse Commander class, the Deluxe, the two Voyager molds, this thing, and the Leader, and boy were each one their own unique things. Ultimate Optimus here is probably the most unique of those Primes because of its massive box that it comes with and in, being touted as the biggest Optimus Prime toy at the time, now being roughly the same size as RoboSend Prime when the wings are folded out. Gonna get the truck and trailer out of the way because there's a lot more to show than just this and the other modes. The truck looks too wide. Due to the nature of the transformation and its ability to combine, the proportions are a bit off but it's not horrible by any means. It's actually a pretty nice looking truck. It's painted very well and the coloration of the solid pieces works very nicely to the point where I think this is one of the nicest colored retail movie primes out there in truck mode. It's also big, like modern leader class big. Poses like an idiot though. The trailer is just a big rectangle. It has some fold out stand bits, which is nice. And it's covered in five millimeter ports and three millimeter clips. So you can deck out this shit with mech tech weapons or dress it up with weaponizers. I missed the three millimeter clip system. That was fun. I, I feel like that needs to come back. Its proportions are also off being too wide for even the wide Optimus it comes with. The little climate control unit thing or whatever it is on the front is nice, but the paint seems a bit thin. It could have used one more coat of blue. I also wish the stripe was painted along the side. Oh my God, Toy Hacks actually makes a set for this guy. Yep, I, I actually did buy it. It should be here next week. They actually fix all of my problems with the trailer deco, but I still think the stock toy should have come with that form of deco on the side. It just would have made it look a lot nicer. These do connect up and it's a bit of a shaky fit and the wiki says you can connect it to the leader, but like, not really, you can, but it's not the greatest connection in the world. It's even worse than the normal truck. Now that's pretty much it for the alt mode. It's one of the major selling points of the toy, but now on to the bit they had to throw in so it feels like a major afterthought, the core robot mode. His transformation is incredibly unique for an Optimus Prime, so I'll just show you that. So we've all seen the standard sort of Optimus Prime transformations from the movies. Quite recently, we've seen the hybrid of Evasion and First Edition from Prime being used. We have the leader class conversion from Revenge of the Fallen that was used quite a bit. This literally makes everything up. I'm not going to walk you through it so much as I'm just going to transform it and discuss some of the pains of it because like just watch. Like you start with unfolding the get out you bitch. Ah. There we go. I just want to show you guys. Those are his hands. None of this transforms. So the biggest pain really is you want to be careful about these struts. They're clear plastic and they are very thin hinges. They are friction hinges, so if you rip it off, you can pop it back on. But I have had some people tell me that they've snapped there, so you want to be careful with that. And then you just start opening this up, and now you see that the feet are like inside the alt mode, which doesn't want to come undone. Ah, there we go. And you bring the legs out and then you like fold this up and you unpeg this, bring this up. You then fold these out, the head comes out. You can't see what I'm doing. It just becomes a huge mess. And it looks ridiculous while you're trying to get this thing transformed properly. Come on, come on you, ah, there we go. And then you slide the fists forward. The fists forward. Oh, there's a stock image thing for you right there. There you go, stock image for Brian's video. You click those up. That's literally all you do with the arms. They don't do anything different. And then you fold this up. I do really like how this works. This is probably one of the cleanest backpacks for a movie prime of the time because look at it. It just collapses so nicely to form this idiot. Prime's robot mode is less than successful. It's not great if I'm honest. The proportions are really shit. It has trouble standing sometimes, but hey, it was memorable enough to be in the friggin' concept art for Cyberpunk 2077. That was a surprise. If they ever put it in the game as like a collectible you can find, I will freak out because I love cyberpunk. 
The bot mode is missing paint. It's all noodly. It's got a lot of nice sculpted detail, but most of that basic ass gray just kind of does away with that detail. The shoulder pads are way too big. The back folds are actually, you know what? No, the back folds away really nice. I'm very impressed with the engineering they used to compress it. It's probably one of the cleanest movie prime backs we had at the time because it wasn't sticking out. It was just flat. He's modern leader size in robot mode coming in at a similar height to the Dinobots, but he just looks so weird, man. Articulation. It has joints, but just forget about it. The legs and feet make him hard to stand properly in a pose like at all because he needs heels. Those shoulder pads also get in the way too much and they just look weird. He's not fun to pose. Also, my figure's fists like to collapse a lot, so that's fun. Now the trailer, it also transforms. Really wish it did the whole battle station thing, but it doesn't. Instead, you get this power suit thing that I can only assume is a concept art thing because it was obviously never in the film. But getting the panels out of the side can be a bit scary as they're pretty thin and they're on long, strong ass pegs. Getting Prime mounted inside is also a bit meh and the wings like falling off a lot on my copy, but they're kind of meant to. They fall off and they go back on super easily, like they're meant to come off. So that's fine. You, so that means you can parts form it basically if you want to. But when that's all said and done, you're left with this. Whatever the hell this is. <laughs> well, whatever it is, it looks epic as, it looks epic as hell. I love it. The amount of tooling on here is immense. And if it wasn't that dull ass cheapo gray, I would be happy, but it's a lot of it gets lost in that color. The stuff in the dark gray looks fantastic and works quite well, but this Games Workshop gray is just poo. While he looks cool, you can't really do much in this mode. Articulation is so limited because they went for non parts formery route on the trailer and made everything attached to armatures. So really the arms move a bit and that's about that. That's all you can do. Like they don't even go forward or back at the shoulder like at all because of how they're strapped in. So you get that sort of G1 toy style articulation. It's an impressive thing to behold though. And the Chinese New Year version just looks even better in my opinion. I, I wanna get one at some point to put next to this guy. Now he has this big ass turd that sticks to the bottom of the trailer and, and like you take it off in transformation. What is it? Well, it's his mech tech gun. So this thing is a bit of a pain in the ass to attach because it clips and pegs in with like a because you got this big like six millimeter peg and then these clips kind of wish that was five like the peg there was five that's a port not a peg i'm stupid but you attach it and you put this over top of prime's head and it just sort of like lining it up is a bit annoying ah, come on come on you bitch ah. Oh, and then you take the hands and you sort of peg them in just like that. Mm. So now you have the faceplate over and you can do this. If you do that three times, he says his name. There it is. And you press this button. Makes that noise and you press this button. Makes that noise. That's about it. But it's a big, basically like fuck you cannon on this dude. It's it like the cannon, here's the cannon next to MP01. It's a big cannon. So I like this. It's dumb as hell and really not functional in combined mode, but it looks impressive and is just cool. This is an, like, an excellent centerpiece to something because of how massive it is. Sure, it's not worth some of the horrendous asking prices you see online, but I got this for 100 Canadian sealed and that feels like enough for this guy. So if you can find it for around that price or less, hell even used, I would definitely recommend picking it up because it's so goofy and weird, but it is fun and interesting in how it works. Just don't pay over price, like prices for it. But that's my look at Ultimate Optimus Prime. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.